how to create a lookup flow field in Business Central using the simple object designer. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, sometimes you might just need, you're missing a field somewhere with a value and, and, and you just, it's just a field that you, you don't really need a true field and, and, and data traveling to the system. You just need to look it up uh, and need to have the system to look it up. And you can do that with a flow field. Um, and you can create flow fields with a simple object designer. So let me show you how that is done. A flow field is not a real field in the database. It's, it's a field that is calculated on the fly in the UI. And it allows you to, uh, to get information that is otherwise might not be accessible. Um, so here's the simple object designer, and I have just a blank slate. Um, and let's say that you were looking at the item ledger entries list. And, um, you know, this is a great list, but it only shows the item number. So the item name is not shown on this list, and, and maybe you want that. Um, so uh, let's try to add that as a lookup flow field. Um, the way we do that, uh, we might need to take a quick look here and, and the item ledger entries and, uh, and open the page inspector to see that this is running on a table called the item ledger entry, number 32. So uh, let's create a new field. We'll hit new. Now we know it's 32, so we don't have to go look it up because we already did that. And uh, we could call this item name, and we want this to be a lookup. Um, and let me just change the caption to item. And then we can see that, oh, we want it on the item ledger entries list. And let's add it after. And let's find the uh, item number. So right after the item number, we want the item name. Uh, so now we created the field, we put it on a, on a page, but we have not defined how Business Central should calculate this. Um, and we do that in field settings. Um, so now we can see that, did I select a lookup? So I did this wrong. I said lookup, but the lookup field is something else, sorry. This should be a flow field field. See how easy it is. It should be a flow field. And the reason I discovered this was because when I go in here, I did not see the flow field definition. Um, a lookup field is, is a different, that's a real field where you can go and type in and look something up, where a flow field of lookup type is doing, the, doing that for you and just, just displaying the result. So in this case, the default method is lookup. So the only thing I need to, to do now is I need to tell where to look up. And I need to look up in the item table. So I find table 27. Then I need to tell what field am I looking for in the item table. Well, I am looking for the description because the item name is I could call description on, on that. Now I need to tell which item. So right now we have told that, hey, go look at the item table and, and, and the description field, but you, we have not told the system what item uh, we should actually look for. We do that in, in the filters here. So I will look at, on the item, let's use, we need to look up by the number. So that's pretty easy. And we need to look up from a field from the item ledger entry where we're at. Um, this is filters. We can we can define multiple filters if if it takes multiple fields to find that specific record. Um, filter type field means that we are linking it to a field where we come from. A const links to a um, let's say it's a document type. Then you can specify this as an order, or if 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 it like a transaction type, a sales, a purchase, stuff like that. Or you can specify a filter if it's thousand dot dot two thousand or something. Um, 
quite often when we're working with lookups, it's mainly a direct lookup with fields. Um, so I've selected fields and then I need to, let me just move myself because I need to put in and tell what field in item later entry should we find the item with. And that's the item number. So I have specified that and let me just put myself back in the corner where I belong. Um, and so we have specified a filter, we have specified the field, we have created a field and we have added it to the page. So the only thing that is missing now is to try it out. And in order to try it out, we hit publish. And then a bunch of stuff happens uh, at the same time. The first thing that happens um, is that the simple object designer will write all the AL code. Um, and it will, it would do the exact same thing as if you ask me and said, hey, Eric, I need to have a lookup. Uh, I need to have the item name on the item later into page. Uh, can you add that uh, as, a, uh, as, a, as a lookup field? And I would go in and create a flow field that would do the exact same thing as the simple object designer is now writing for you. After it's done writing, it compiles all the stuff that it has created in case you have created all some of the other things we can do in here, and um, and and builds an app file uh, with that. After the app file has been built, two things happen. One is that you get the app file downloaded, so you can take this app file and go to your production environment. If you, as I am right now, are working in a sandbox, you can go to your production environment and upload that. The other thing that is happening is that because I answered yes at a dialogue while I was talking is that this one is also getting deployed to this uh, environment, in this sandbox that I'm working in right now. And we can see that it's still working and it depends on on resources at Microsoft and time of day and I think pure luck. Anyway, it's done now. So it's, it's done. So if I go to uh, item, wow, if I'm able to spell item ledger entries, now we can see that I have the item name in here. So since this is a flow field, this is not really something that you want to do filter on, uh, but you still have by clicking on this. Now we have a link to the item, kind of the same way. Of course, we still had that on the item item number here, uh, but maybe number is not really helping you. So, you, so your user will rather hide the item number and just show the uh, show the item uh, item name but that's a flow field lookup type flow field um, if you're interested in more information on the simple object designer check out the link below there are other videos on the different types of flow fields that you can create and all the other things you can do with the simple object designer thanks for watching and uh, i hope you have fun creating your own apps mm -hmm.